Here we go. Hello, I'm Dr. Jason Nurse, the Director of Science and Research at CybeSafe. Every year during Cybersecurity Awareness Month, amazing work is done by the security community. This work acts to support, guide, and educate people to highlight new threats, to reinforce best practice, and to build relationships within your organizations. This year, we're gonna help you take that one step further. By the end of Cybersecurity Awareness Month, we want you to be able to show the specific security behaviors your activities have influenced, and the risks that have been impacted as a result. We built a lightweight, simple planning tool based on the Security Behaviors Database, or SEPDB. SEPDB is the world's most comprehensive security behavior database. It maps security behaviors to risk outcomes. Here's Susie to explain a bit more. Thanks, Jason. I'm Susie, one of CyberSafe Behavior Scientists. This year's Cybersecurity Awareness Month will focus on several key behaviors, using strong passwords, using a password manager, turning on multi-factor authentication, checking emails for signs of phishing, reporting phishing, reporting known or suspected security incidents, and ensuring work devices and software are regularly updated. CybeSafe's security awareness planning tool lets you map your activities, initiatives, and awareness efforts to the eight SEPDB risk outcomes, as well as a range of risk factors defined by your organization. The tool will show you the risk coverage your activities have. Identifying key business risks in order to link them to people's behavior and in order to improve the behavior through targeted training and other interventions is one of the first steps on the road to human risk management. Speaking of human risk management... Thanks, Susie. Hey all, I'm Ben, human risk management lead at CyberSafe. One of the biggest differences between human risk management and security awareness and training is planning the impact of your activities beyond ticking the compliance box. What is it you're trying to achieve? Which security behaviours do we want to influence? Which business risks are you going to reduce? Taking the time to understand this before you start Cybersecurity Awareness Month planning will make it easier to demonstrate the value of your activities when you're done. Using the planning tool is super easy. Simply select the activity you'll be undertaking, link it to a behaviour and let the tool show you the risks your activity covers. You can use the content from CyberSafe Security Awareness Engagement Toolkit, you can create your own or you can even use content from one of our competitors. Check out our latest blog, 50 Creative Ideas for Cybersecurity Awareness Month, for more. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.